Hello, everyone. I'm Rob Smith of the In the Black Quant Edge VTF here at T3 Live with this week's market wrap up. And uh, I do a more thorough uh, market breakdown week video over the weekend. If you want to see that, uh, I put it on my YouTube, Smith in the Black, all one word. I tweet it out at Rob in the Black on Twitter. Uh, another thing that I do a, a couple times a month is I make a video for Trade King and I. What uh, happened here is uh, this week is exactly what I talked about in the video I made last weekend, talking about multiple inside bars. And so oftentimes you'll be looking just at one bar. But if you look at the SPY here, you're going to see this. Monday, we opened on the lows and then rifled back up. And we have spent four days completely within that range. And so that is what really needs to break. You can look at all the minor stuff in here and stuff like that. We had that inside day break yesterday to the upside. Uh, but then instantaneously comes back down because we're still inside consolidating. Uh, you hear me talking about triangles resistance. Broadening formations become resistance. Indeed, the, the upper one here came resistance we got right to it yesterday and that's all she wrote and back into the consolidation range so if we take a look at this a little bit further out you're going to see this here here and so you can question is here's this broadening formation here and here's the upper one now we come down right back to the tick down in here and so one of the things that kept the, the market afloat here a bit and from a time frame continuity uh, perspective is that we open on the bottom of the week so we spent the entire week in conflict down on the month up on the week and then vacillating between green and red on the days uh, so that that's the problem and that's it gets us in here and the word of the, ro the words of that rolling stones it's like I'm not waiting on a lady I'm just waiting on the fed and so a lot of that's a lot of that's going to have that to do with it so anyway but it has been case by case basis if we go to the qqq a little bit stronger here you can see that uh here let's draw that for you hello stop them out qqq two bars in here once again the so in here, if you look at this, you're going to see this one inside day and then took it out a little bit. Couldn't take that out. And then yesterday, the two inside pattern takes that out. Now it goes inside day to start off for Monday. we got small cappers here. It's staying as an inside day down there as well. Um, you know, if, and if we looked at, um, in the, if you just look at the SPY 60, 60 minute, there's a lot of indications that we can use on that. Even we, we'd be chopping in a range. So uh, you look at this here. And you'll see this inside, inside 60, still putting in the lower highs. And this is where we took a shot at the week, the weekly open down. Here's the weekly opening. We took a shot at this low here and held to the tick. Couldn't get through it, ran out of time. Closed as an inside 60, rallied back up. And one of the important things, uh, like when you see on CNBC on these days that are going up and then back down and up and then back down, is when they say that all 10 sectors in the S&P are up, yeah, that's not the day to fade. You fade it on the bell if you're going to do that. But that's when we look for this, the momentum hammer, right here. A little pullback, hammer, and boom, all 10 sectors going at the same time. That was real nice. And then we got this real tight stuff today where we couldn't get out of the opening range forever. Inside, inside 60, went down again to try and test this stuff and then come back up for a rev strat. And the reversal strategy is the inside bar countered with hammer. I'll get that up for you like this and then we look for uh, smaller time frames to confirm that so if that was going to work it was off this inside 15 right here then it retraced here and then we started making it back up but uh you know it's a few things just keep keep an eye on those combinations so if we look and we go sector by sector the strength of semiconductors this week semiconductors went to the new recent highs on the smh here like that and we'll see if that can continue now you Take them out. Old triangle becomes support. Slight higher high, and now back in that range with the uh, that and the XLK. XLK didn't quite make it, but now inside day. So we'll see how that goes. Um, another thing that people talk about: Apple. Oh yeah, Apple triangled them, but good she did, and that's why we want to watch this. So uh, when people are like, "Oh, this is the worst chart ever," and I'm like, mm, "Maybe," until it goes does this, and if you take a look at the 60, you're going to see this. This is how you follow it on the 60, going way back, tiny triangle needed to grow, lower level in here, then goes down the outside bar right in here, and I'll blow that up for you. Look at look where it went, too, he, 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 right there. Anyway, this is when you can look for the fractal triangles, where I talk about outside bars, a fractal triangle on a smaller term time frame. So coming off the lows, outside bar right here. 
Got him right there, outside bar. And once you stay out of that, stair stepping up closes the inside, inside 60 and gap up. Uh, so some nice move there. If we take a look at Wynn Resorts, Wynn Resorts is one of the few that continued to stay strong here inside day to day. But as it slightly takes the inside month and stays green on the month, stays green on the week and goes back up into there. And that's the kind of thing you want to look for. And so when people say, I'll buy it on a dip or a pullback, I'm going to show you how you do that. <laughs> It'll come in. Don't worry, she always does. And so here, right here, just using the 15 chart. Here, you're going to see, oh, bring them in. Oh, inside 15 and back up. Bring them in. Inside 15 doesn't stop it out. And then here, inside 15 countered by going back in, rev strat back up, and here's this dip 15 or this dip hammer. So very orderly on the way up, albeit uh, some harrowing moments up, in, in, up into that level. But that's how you try and catch things off the lows instead of momentum and straight into the highs. Another thing helping the NASDAQ is the IBB. And IBB goes bullish engulfing on the week. <laughs> IBB goes bullish engulfing on the week. And so what that means is fractal triangle, right? And so we're looking at this stuff here, like Sue, saying, wow, if it drops back into here, you got all sorts of trouble here. But gap down on the lows of the week once again. So that was really important on where that Monday opening. And that's why you want to watch time frame continuity. They couldn't break them and then off to the races here. So you have this outside bar and now this outside bar. So if you look at the daily, you're going to see this. What is this? Can this triangle here come all the way back up to take this outside bar and go right back up? Uh, we shall see. Like I said, I'll break it down on the weekend. But we had a couple of nice ones. Blue off to the races here in blue. Uh, I tweet out the gapper list every morning. Keep in mind the gap. And then just even if you want to be, you don't have to trade the, the, the things that are really uh, going moving. Just wait for it to go inside 60 right here. Inside 60 hammer. There's your entry. Very nice. Another hammer there. So there's a few nice things in there. Clovis also coming up in Clovis uh, today. You can see this 60 hammer in here to help it get out of this multi bar range to get out of this. One, two, three, four, five hours in there. Finally gets going to help reconfirm the inside day. And if you go to the monthly, you're going to see the big one. Oh, yeah. Higher, high, lower, low. Higher, high, lower, low. Inside, rev strat. Rev, one bar rev strat off the highs. Inside, month and down monthly shooter down and then inside month and back up and trying to take all these guys out using your daily yay <laughs> all right uh so also on a day like today when the spy stuck in this range down in here certainly want to use it uh, stocks and discernible strength and weakness when you can uh when you can get it so when the mar market's moving up going after strong when the market's moving down go after the weak and so you had netflix for one having a nice little day here and when it pops back up remember the monthly inside month and up here is above 98.85. So when the market pulled back, all it could do was this, all right, and pull it back a little bit and go inside 30. Once the market starts recovering, above 98.69 retakes the month inside 30. That's multiple actionable signal to the upside. If you had Tesla, Tesla, and the Tesla with a very nice series here, as you can see this, higher high, lower low, higher high, lower low, right back up, new Higher high, lower low, higher high, lower low, and right back up. And that matched up with the combination later. Once again, something staying at the highs when the market turns around is a rev strat 60 into the highs. Inside bar, countered by opening and closing back in and, and straight back up. That was real nice. And uh, one of the things uh, that was good, too, is utilities. Uh, is a good example of, of following the triangle series as well. Because if you go to the 15, you're going to see this. First of all, let's pull it out a little bit so you can't see it. All right, giggity giggity goo. Higher highs, lower lows. Higher high, lower low. Higher high, lower low, and back up. Now, it'd be all fine and dandy if it didn't jump around a little bit and triangle them out, right? And that's what this is right here. This is a continuation triangle, outside bar, inside for the momentum move. If you get onto the five minute, you'll see it looking like this. Stop them out. Higher highs, lower lows, gets through, triangle becomes support, inside, and then off to the races again. So you can see this uh, in discernible moves like this. When you get to, towards the apex of triangle stuff or in the middle of the range, you got to make sure nobody's in for the real move again. Third lower low, and off to the races. That was nice. So a few bugaboos we got here uh, going forward to the financials for one, FAS. 
FAS going out here, but you do have these lower lows on the daily to see if they want to try and go back up. But you can see in the closing towards the lower end of the week, and once just like we're using the the broader averages than the sectors, and you go down the stocks. If you looked in here on uh, this morning, had some nice 15s with the, that matched up with the spy. And you'll see this inside 15 and down in the FAS here, and then inside back up. All right, and the SPY did the same thing here, inside down, inside up in the 15. And then you just go break it in it down and say, okay, JP Morgan, yep, inside down there, didn't go inside, but you had uh, Citicorp inside down, then hammer back up. And so when this is all going down and you see what this is all happening, you go to the FAS and you go back to the 60. 60 comes down, goes inside 60 back up, but doesn't rock out of this thing and spends the rest of the day in here. So when it starts to weaken again, all right, we can look for the stuff that stayed weak over there. And we know Wells Fargo stayed inside weak and down, and that was a really nasty looking chart there. That inside week talked about that in the video last week about this thing looking nasty. And then you throw a little bad news and off you go. And then Bank of America, Bank of America was taking the multi days out trying to it didn't quite do it but it took out these inside days down to the downside but uh bank of america when you had the inside 60 up didn't wasn't strong enough to recover and here you can see that inside 60 down here that never recovers never makes a higher high it stays in full time frame continuity to the downside so uh like i said we've got the fed stuff coming we've got uh also some weakness in X and the energies is a problem if you look at the triangles here you're going to see xle and XOP doing about the same thing. So financials an issue. Then can we stay strong in the IBB and the tech stuff? Inside days and the Qs and the diamonds and the small cappers to start off next week. But uh, for right now, we just got to stay on that discernible strength and weakness. And we want to see when this multiple uh, inside inside bar pattern breaks in the SPY faux show. Uh, because if we're going to have an expansion of volatility, we take all this to the downside. If we're going to contract and go right back up, that's going to have to take all this stuff out. And this is a tall order that's pretty high up there. Uh, but, you know, things can move around when the Fed starts speaking. So I hope everybody had a great week, has an even better weekend. And I'll see you bright and early Monday morning on the VTF if you're with me. All right, I'm Rob Smith of the Black Quantage VTF here at T3 Live with this week's Market Wrap-Up.